Hello there. My name is Adam. How are you? Before we enter our lesson, let's listen to the conversation between Linda and Jason. Hi Jason. Lately, I've been very interested in interiors that showcase a variety of designs. Can you tell me more about what interior design is? Hi Linda. Yes sure. Interior design is the art and science of enhancing the interior of a building to achieve a healthier and more aesthetically pleasing environment for the people using the space. An interior designer is someone who plans, researches, coordinates, and manages such enhancement projects. Interior design is a multifaceted profession that includes conceptual development, space planning, site inspections, programming, research, communicating with the stakeholders of a project, construction management, and execution of the design. That is so interesting. What are the duties and responsibilities of interior design? They have a variety of duties and responsibilities. Among them are, one develops design concepts and produces contract documents based on client needs. Next, meets with clients to program the project requirements. Other than that is takes accurate as built measurements for developing floor plans and elevations. Interior design also create design concepts and digital presentations with finished selections, furnishings and fixtures. Last but not least, presents design concepts and takes detailed notes to address customer requests. Now I understand. It is not just about skills, but about knowledge as well. I learned a lot today. Thank you for the explanation, Jason. I hope one day I can be a successful interior designer. No problem, Linda. I also hope that my explanation earlier can help you a little in succeeding in the world of interior design. Wishing you a good luck for your future. How was the conversation between Linda and Jason just now? Now you know what interior design is. As an interior design company, inevitably you have partners, colleagues, contractors, and you have a couple of options you might consider. Now, let's learn about partnerships in the world of interior design. What is partnership? A partnership is a formal arrangement by two or more parties to manage and operate a business and share its profits. There are several types of partnership arrangements. In particular, in the partnership business, all partners share liabilities and profits equally, while in others, partners may have limited liability. There also is the so-called silent partner, in which one party is not involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the business. What is partnership in interior design? It is as an interior design company inevitably you have partners, colleagues, contractors, and you have a couple of options you might consider. Now let's take a look at type of practice in partnership. There are three types of practice in partnership. Number one, owned and operated by more than one person, two or more. Designers or others in combination with a designer such as an architect can organize a partnership. Number two, Business formation requires that the people involved in the business determine who will be responsible for the various tasks of operating the business. This will determine how much money each partner will invest in the business and also how business profits or losses will be divided. Finally, the partners are working closely together. In this content, both partners need to be pulling together and business partners need to be compatible in business sense and responsibility. At the top of the organization, we have the head architect. The head architect responds by controlling projects from start to finish to ensure high quality, innovative, and functional design. The head architect also developing architecture in line with clients' needs, buildings usage, and environmental impact. Under the head architect, we have the construction manager. Construction manager responds to plan and coordinate a project from start to finish including organizing the schedule of work, costings, and budget. Furthermore, they also will ensure the project is delivered on time and on budget by setting benchmarks, agreeing budgets, and monitoring progress. 
Under the construction manager, we have senior project management, two of senior architect, and also head engineer. Let's take a look at the duties of partners in the partnership. Observe faith. Partners are bound to carry on the business of the firm to the greatest common advantage. To be just and faithful to each other, and to render true accounts and full information of all things affecting the firm to any partner or his legal representative. Next, to indemnify for loss. This obligation is imposed upon every partner to save the other partners from loss caused to them by the fraud of a partner in conducting the business of the firm. It is an absolute provision. It is not subject to the terms of the contract between the partners. To share losses, in the absence of any contract to the contrary, each partner is liable to contribute to the firm's losses equally. To attend to his duties diligently, every partner is bound to attend diligently to his duties in conducting the business of the firm. Last but not least, is to hold and use property of the firm, regardless of the industry. Business partnerships can acquire their assets either via contributions from the individual partners or by leasing or purchasing business assets for cash. Interior design business partnerships could be a great thing or they could really F you in the head if you are not careful. This is what you need to know before informing an interior design partnership. First and foremost, it is important to pick your roles. Decide how you will pay for things like a website, social media, strategy sales, customer service, accounting, contracts, professional fees. Next, you both have to be on the same page in regards to goals and how you're gonna reach them. If you want to build a design business that focuses on local clients and they want to build a virtual design house, how do you make that work? Furthermore, get in writing whether or not the person you consider going into business with is your oldest friend or a newish acquaintance. Get everything in writing. Make sure that you like them. Don't jump into a partnership because you think they know a lot more than you do. You're going to be spending lots of time with them. Finally, you need to work together as a team. Before you decide that they are the one for you, do a project together. See how it goes. Is it smooth or did you uncover some issues that need to be addressed? Here are four keys of partnering in interior design firm. Firstly, it is important to build trust. Like any partnership, business or otherwise, without trust, it's destined for failure. This is where you, as an investor or contractor, need faith in your decisions when hiring a design firm. Communication. Having concerns and ideas regarding your project's interiors communicated to you in a timely and concise manner builds trust. Also remember that listening is an important part of communication. Next is coordination. Who doesn't love when a plan comes together? Coordination is certainly a derivative of communication, but more of a measurement of an interior design group's capabilities. Finally, budget. It's important to understand how much you are willing to spend on your interiors. Even more important is partnering with an interior design group that understands the full extent of a project's requirements, goals, and budget. We have come to the end of the lesson. I hope you learned a lot today. That's it from me. Thank you for lending your ears. I hope to see you another time. Bye bye and take care.